Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from learn-automation.com. Today in this video tutorial, we'll talk about how to automate web application in iOS Safari browser using APM. So let's get started. So we'll start with high level agenda. So first we will discuss what are the things we need to run iOS web applications or iOS native applications. Then we'll see how to start a browser. So in this video, we'll mainly uh, talk about how to start Safari browser. But once you move on, we'll talk about how to automate native and hybrid application in uh, iOS devices. Then we'll talk about the common problems which you will face while working with APM uh, with uh, iOS devices. Hardly you will get two to three issues, so I will discuss in this video. In previous videos, we already discussed regarding uh, Android. So if you have not tried the Android, uh, tried with Android, Android devices, then you can visit my previous videos where we have discussed how to start Chrome browser in Android devices, how to start uh, native applications in Android device. So in this video will mainly on the simulator side. So I don't have right now real devices. If you want to work with the real devices, then we need to uh, have a developer account. That also we'll discuss in upcoming tutorials. As of now, we will be working on the simulators. So I will show you in few minutes. So to install APM, we need a couple of things. So first of all, we need Java. So one important point, if you want to automate iOS applications, then you need Mac machine. And even if you do not have Mac machine, I will show you one alternative how you can run Mac on Windows. Then you can try all these necessary things which I will discuss. So you need Java, you need Xcode. So Xcode is a IDE. So we'll discuss about Xcode as well. We need to download APM which will redirect all our commands. We need Eclipse where we will write the code. And finally, we need Java client jar file. So Xcode is a suit of software development tools, which is designed by Apple. Using Xcode, you can develop so many application. Uh, it can be any Mac OS, iOS watch uh, OS and tvOS. And it's a freeware, so you do can download this easily. I am using Xcode 7. So now if you go back, I have added a description. So you can see right now the latest version is Xcode 8, but you can use any previous version. For APM, the recommended one is 7, so you can use any version of Xcode 7. So now if you go to their official website, apm.io, so you can see here the requirement is you should have Xcode 4.5 and above and Mac OS 10.7 plus. So the Mac which I'm having is 10.11. So it's fine and Xcode also we are using 7. So now there are two ways to install APM. So Xcode is quite easy. You need to simply uh, click on any of this Xcode version. It's a very lengthy file around 5 GB. Once it is uh, downloaded, then you simply double click on it and just follow the normal downloading process. Sorry, installation process for, uh, like any other application. And same thing you have to do for APM. Once you click on download APM, it will start downloading a DMG file. Once this DMG file get downloaded, you need to simply extract it. And simply double click and install this. Follow the normal installation process. And Java. And you need the Java client as well. So Java client, let me show you the version which I'm using. I will be using Java client 2.2.0. But if you wish, you can download the new one as well. Just go to mvnrepository.com and just search Java Client APM. So if you click on the first option, so you can see there are so many versions. So right now, uh, the latest version 4.1.2 and the one which I'm using is 2.2.0. You can use the a latest one as well so that's all you need it is very easy process you don't have to uh, struggle much for APM in Mac machine 
so once you have java eclipse is ready java client is ready you have x code and apim ready then you need to write a program that will start the simulator so we need to set up some desired capability so let me start with a program i will create a package in src so i will create i will say apm test i will create a program here so i will create a plain java class and i will say test ios safari browser i will be using testng today so in case if you have not installed testng you can visit my previous tutorials so this is what exactly our classes so i will create a method public void start browser and i will be using at the rate test of testng so put at the rate test and import this testng so we need to create object of desired capability class of selenium so desired capability is a class in selenium which will allow you to modify the existing settings and you can customize the behavior of a browser so if you see the first desired capability which we need to set that we need to set the device name so you can set any device name iphone 4 5 6 so if you are using xcode 8 you can use iphone 7 as well but the xcode version which i am using which it will support till iphone 6 s so i will set the capability so you can see device name n will be capital device and iPhone 6 so let's use it set capability device name iPhone 6 then you need which platform you're using so we're using iOS platform and which version you want to use so 9.1 uh, so the current iOS version we will be using 9.1 and finally the browser name so we can directly copy this let me copy these desired capabilities one by one so I will upload this ppt on the slide share so you can easily uh, download this ppt and you can try the same and if you want to know how we will get this capability then you can visit their official documentation they have written everything so i will show you so we'll create capabilities object because otherwise we need to modify the same four lines of code and capability type you can import okay so this is what we have set our capabilities now we need to pass these capabilities to APM driver so you need to start APM as well so let me stop this APM so once you install APM if you start APM so by default you will get this window you can see once you are on Mac machine you can automate Android application and Mac application or iOS applications as well so if you click here by default you will get all these so right now we are using 8.1 but if you are mentioning any other version it will override advanced setting we have not done any changes and if you see this is what we need to make sure so the current version which we are using is 4723 sorry the port number it is uh, you can ch change this so right now it is localhost and by default port which APM will take care is 4723 okay so let's get started let me start with android session so i will say i use driver driver equal to new remote okay i use driver 
so it will ask you give me the capability and give me the remote address so capability you can pass the same capabilities and remote address you can pass just type new URL we cannot pass directly we need to take the help of URL class so I will write HTTP colon double slash 127.0.0.1 colon 4723 because our APM is listening on this port slash WD and slash hub WD stands for web driver and hub right now this APM will work as a hub which will redirect all our command to our mobile platform once you are done now you can use this driver so let me start one of my blog so I will start same learn hyphen automation dot com so that it will start the same in the simulator and if you wish you can print the title just to check so I will say page title is you can use any application I am just using a simple application I will say driver dot get title right so now let me start the APM so just click on launch it will start your APM server and by default you can see there are some settings like we are using 8.1 platform name iOS but this will get override because we are passing values from here so you can see it is started so once it is started now you can run your test so let me right click run as test ng test so you can see is forwarding some of the commands and you can see a simulator started so if you are running this simulator first time you will get this on maximize window it will be like this okay it looks very weird so you can change it if you click on the windows and if you see scale and just type 50 percent then you will get the original size simulators are slow so it will take some time to launch and once it is launched it will do a unit testing just to check whether the simulator is working fine or not so you will see a small check you can see here APM 4723 welcome and it says let's browse it means your unit test done so you don't have to worry about this unit test this APM will take care automatically once this unit test is done it will start with your normal test case and you can see parallelly it is uh, giving you all the logs in your APM and this is the blog has been launched and you can see the complete description we, we only requested for title so this is the complete title which is coming Selenium web driver complete Selenium web driver tutorial guide online and this is what our simulator is you can see how easy it is you don't have to worry about uh, downloading installing the required softwares in Android we have to download the build right but in Xcode no you simply download the Xcode it will contain all the required libraries and only thing which you need to give here the device name platform name and version and which browser you want and once you get this driver you can start any web application on the Safari browser now in the next tutorials we will also discuss how you can automate native and hybrid apps on the mobile devices now if you are running this first time then you might get some problems so in case if you are getting this kind of exception like could not get the iOS SDK version so what you need to do you can see one command here xcode hyphen select space uh, double hyphen switch so just copy this command and just open the terminal from your Mac system and just hit enter so it will set this xcode so next time when you run APM, APM will automatically detect this X code. Okay, and if your simulator is not working, then you can create one simulator manually. And in case if some other issues are coming, you can restart your APM just uh, 
and it should work this only comes when you are doing this first time once you are done then you will not get this issues so I will also show you how you can deploy your own application in Xcode so let's say you are working as a developer and you want to deploy and you want to create any application for iOS devices so once you start Xcode it will ask you a couple of details so you can see here second option right create a new Xcode, Xcode project start building a new iPhone iPad and Mac application so just click here this is just additional information it's not required for you but yes you should know all this stuff so you can see it will ask you do you want to uh, develop application for iOS watch OS TV OS and OS X so let's see we want to deploy for iOS and again you, here you, you have multiple options you want to develop games simple web based application single view application tab application so let me create a basic application single view application I will give this as learn automation app so if you want to design any iOS applications you need a swift programming language it's very easy so it will ask you do you want to use objective C or Swift so these two languages are supported by uh, Apple if you want to design any iOS application and both are very easy so let's say objective C and you want to use this for iPhone iPad and if you select universe then it will be the responsive one let's select iPhone and just click on next it will ask you where you want to store I will say just go on desktop create new this is just additional steps it is not required this is just to show you how you can deploy your own iOS application once you are done just uh, right now we are not writing any code here if I simply run this using this option it says building your application and you can say build success and once you build succeeded you can see your application is it's single page view by default it's white screen because we have not designed anything once you design it will work as a normal application you will get one dot app uh, dot app file but that is a different story uh, that maybe I will come in the next tutorials so this is what we have for today's session let me just have a quick recap then we can close this so we started with our installation guide where we have discussed uh, what are the things we need so Java Xcode APM Eclipse Java client jar you can download Xcode from below site so you can download 8 7 7 is the recommended we need to set the desired capability and finally if you're facing an issue while running your code you just hit the below command from the terminal and it will work so that's all I have for this tutorial so if you have any doubts feel free to drop an email to this id mukesh at one year learn hyphen automation.com thank you so much have a nice day bye bye